behind the scenes report on what the lads get up to when they're not touring, making videos. Here's how Hunting High and Low was filmed. This wasn't a desert island, just an ordinary film studio in West London. Less waves. But all kinds of tricks were used to create the tropics. With only two days for filming, all the technical preparations had to be perfect. Especially bright lighting was called for, and while the lighting men were hard at it, the cameraman was lining up his shots. I'm going to run a line and get an equal distance there. There was a wind machine for special effects, and as the first scene was being prepared, I met the group. OK, how did you all meet? Uh, Magna and I were neighbours from uh, we were three years old or something. And um, by accident, we met Morton. His... We, we knew about each other somehow, you know. Mm. We didn't know what, what... I mean, I don't think they, they knew that I was going to be singing, you know. It was rather finding somebody... Uh, who had the same conviction or who wanted to do, you know, mm. wanted to leave everything behind and then go for something. Who writes the songs? I wrote this one, but uh, it's different from each song. Do you write together? Sometimes. Mm, not really. Not try much. not to. <laughs> I guess it's Mang and I it who write know most each other of the songs. Well. We've <laughs> known each other for ages. That's why we don't write together. <laughs> <laughs> you write in separate rooms. Good. Do you always immediately like the songs that the others have written, or does it take a fair amount of persuasion to get you to do them? You can't persuade somebody to like a song. I mean, not like that. No, but to do them, you, you, can. you may you have try, to listen to. All the time. You may have to listen to it a couple of times, but you you, you recognise something that's good. Is there a bit of competition then? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bit. You may not see the glass door here, but. <laughs> As with any video, a storyboard of little cartoon drawings was the first stage. The pictures had to be followed closely for this complicated video, which involved drawings and live action. And the video began with Morton in a snowy Norwegian landscape. Icy and romantic setting looked just like the Arctic, even though it was in the studio. By means of the old television trick of colour separation overlay, the background could be keyed in, so depending on the pictures they chose, Morton could seem to be walking anywhere. One more, please. No, sir. The finishing touches were put in at the video editing stage with the director, Steve Barron, who made Aha's first video, Take yeah, On Me. Perfect. What are you doing? We're putting uh, the shot of Morton shot in the studio, um, which is a black silhouette on a white background. We're putting it onto a, a snowscape. But there's a piece of uh, library footage. Um, what we need to do to make it look convincing is put a shadow on Morton, because there would naturally be a shadow if he was really mm. there. He'd, he'd have a shadow that would come towards camera and it would lay flat on the ground and stretch in perspective and move towards us over that shoulder mountains over there oh yeah, it's that on, the, on the horizon <laughs> now mountains are rising and you walk into the shot okay as I you walk. move in yeah just take one step back and as you move in as you move in it takes a lot of time to make this kind of filming look convincing and steve gave morton explicit instructions this bit was complicated enough but any second now morton was going to turn into an eagle Steve explained how that particular miracle was achieved. Actually, hand-drawn, frame by frame, like in, in, a Disney, in the Disney method, but we, using a, an electronic computer paint box machine, computer controlled, and we were able to line up both images of, of the image of Morton and the image of the eagle taking off, and to build it progressively the stages of how his wings grow out of his arms, out of his jacket, and how the legs disappear from, from him. Um, so that it all becomes one smooth transition. Story of the video. Well, basically, to cut it short, yeah. all I know <laughs> is that Steve Barron came up with this uh, brilliant script, really, for, uh, for Hunting High Low. Uh, basically, in order to conquer a mountain or to climb a mountain, you become, uh, or I become an eagle. And in order to conquer the sea, the ocean, I become a shark. 
And how did Morton become a shark? The storyboard had him diving off a high cliff into the sea. And to achieve this, a stuntman was brought into the studio diving onto a mattress. During his magical dive, Morton sprouted fins through computerized graphics, and he even ended up with a shark's tail. To complete the scene, Morton jumped onto the mattress himself, so it looked as if he'd made the dive. The shark was another piece of old film, but they also used a dummy shark made out of rubber. The underwater sequence was shot in a tank in the studio with frogmen, special lighting effects, and an underwater camera. In this scene, the shark was speared. It all had to look very realistic. Spear? Spear. Just yeah, just use a broomstick or something. Oh, he's got a broomstick. As long as we don't damage this thing. Right? Yeah. 